Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Digital Chemistry. In this video, we will discuss about the second state of matter that is liquid. That what is liquid and how can we distinguish it from the other three states of matter. So we will discuss about some common properties of the liquid with examples from our daily life. So let's start. So what is liquid? One of the four main states of the matter composed of the molecules that can move about in a substance but are bound loosely together. Examples of the liquids are water, milk, oil and juice. For better understanding, let's talk about some common properties of the liquid that are no definite shape of liquid, definite volume, force of attraction, kinetic molecular energy, diffusion, fluidity, compressibility, density and evaporation. Now we will discuss all these properties of the liquids one by one in a little bit detail by taking examples from our daily life. Let's talk about the first property of the liquid that is no definite shape. Liquid has no definite shape because of the weak intermolecular forces. They take the shape of the container. This can be explained by performing an experiment. Let's take a known volume of a water in a glass, then transfer it into a round bottom flask and finally into a kettle. You will notice that water has acquired the shape of the, all these three containers. From this experiment, we conclude that the liquid has no shape of their own. It takes the shape of the container in which they are poured. Second property of the liquid is that the liquid have a definite volume. This can be shown by performing another experiment. Let's take some water in a beaker and mark the level of the water in it. Here in the beaker the water is 100 milliliter. First we pour this water from the beaker to the round bottom flask. Here we find that the water takes the shape of the round bottom flask and again the volume of the water is 100 milliliter. Now transfer this water from a round bottom flask to a jug. Again we notice that it takes the shape of the jug with the same volume that is 100 milliliter. This means that there is no change in the volume of a liquid or water so we can say that the liquids have a definite volume. Third property of the liquid is force of attraction. Force of attraction of the liquids are stronger than that in a gases but weaker than that of the solids. Remember that the force of attraction depends on the intermolecular spaces. If there is less empty spaces between the molecules, so it results in stronger force of attraction. As you can see here in the diagram that the solid molecules are closely packed, so it results in stronger force of attraction. Whereas the gas molecules having large empty spaces, as you can see here in diagram, so it results in weak force of attraction. Now let's talk about the force of attraction in the liquids. Here you can see that that the liquid's intermolecular distance is intermediate between the solid and the gases. It means that the force of attraction in the liquid is less as compared to the solid and greater or stronger as compared to the gases. Fourth property of the liquids are kinetic energy. Average kinetic energy of the liquid molecules is more as compared to the solid and less as compared to the gas. Here you can see that the kinetic energy is directly proportional to the empty spaces between the molecules or the intermolecular spaces. Remember that the kinetic energy depends on the intermolecular spaces. If there is less intermolecular spaces between the molecules, so it results in less kinetic energy of the molecules. 
As you can see here in the diagram that the solid molecules are closely packed so it results in strong force of attraction and less kinetic energy of the molecules. Whereas the gas molecules having large empty spaces so it results in a weak force of attraction and more kinetic energy. Now let's talk about the liquids. Here, in case of the liquids, the kinetic energy of the molecules is greater as compared to the solids and less as compared to the gases. Fifth property of the liquids are diffusion. Liquids have the ability to diffuse into one another. To understand the process of diffusion, let's take an example from our daily life. Here ink and water both are liquids. Now pour some ink into water, you can notice that they mix easily to form a liquid mixture. Here blue circles represent the ink molecules and the orange circles represent the water molecules. Now the question that comes in our mind that why diffusion takes place in liquids and not in the solid? The answer is that the intermolecular spaces between the particles of the liquids are more which enables the diffusion and help in the intermixing of the certain liquids. And this is not possible in the solids because it don't have an, the intermolecular spaces in the solids. From this activity we conclude that the particles in the liquid state can easily diffuse. Sixth property of the liquid is fluidity. It means that the liquids have the flowing nature. This is due to the sliding of the layers of the molecules over each other. To understand the fluidity, let's take an example. Let us pour some water from a glass on the table. We will observe that the water flows further on the table. This is due to that the water have the flowing nature. Other examples of the flowing nature of the liquids are water molecules in the lakes, oceans, rivers, etc. slides over one another and show the flowing nature. Seventh property of the liquids are compressibility. Liquids are nearly incompressible due to very small empty spaces among the molecules as compared to the gases. So what is compressibility? Compressibility is the frictional change in the volume per unit increase in the pressure. For each atmosphere increase in the pressure, the volume of the water would decrease 46.4 parts per million. Eighth property of the liquids are density. Density of the liquids are more than gases due to the greater mass and the less volume of the liquids, whereas the density of the liquids are less than the solids due to the less mass and the more volume. As you can see here that the density is equal to mass over the volume, it means that the density depends on mass and the volume. Here, with the increase of the mass, the density also increases or with the decrease of the mass, the density decreases. Here, density is inversely proportional to the volume. It means that with the increase of the volume, the density decreases or with the decrease of the volume, density increases. Another property of the liquid is evaporation. Liquid evaporate at all temperature above 0 degree Celsius or minus 273 Kelvin. Remember that with the increase of the kinetic energy of the molecules, the rate of evaporation also increases.